All right, taking a live look outside. Mm -hmm. That sun definitely oh, shining yeah. bright today. Felt pretty good out there. It Not did. Too bad, right? Chief Meteorologist Ashley Brown is joining us now. Some rain though on our way. Ashley. Rain and not snow. Um some of us would rather it be snow. Um, as we look at this forecast, just kind of talking about where we are right now. So far, we have about nine and a half inches of snow, right? At this point, we should have about 19. And when we talk about overall, overall snowfall is somewhere around 25. So we are definitely uh, looking at the lacking of snowfall even at this point. And the next system that moves in, we were concerned about the system bringing a rain snow mix, but right now, it's looking like it's going to be more of a rain event for us here in Indy. The chances of snow a little further to the north. Speaking of snow, uh, some areas still a little snow there, but we're starting to melt away this snow, which is good news. Temperatures today at 45 as expected. We did forecast a high of 45 today, so right where we told you you'd be. 32 for you in South Bend, 61 in Evansville. These numbers that we're looking at here, these numbers, they are well above average. The reason they're above average is because the wind is really moving in our direction, a direction that helps us a wind direction out of the south. This wind will become an issue because we're going to go from a nice southerly breeze to wind advisory because the winds are so strong. Temperatures, as we look tonight, they will slowly fall and winds will pick up. See, as the front starts to arrive ahead of it, gusty winds, cloud cover thickening, all the signs that we normally see ahead of a cold front. Winds gusting at around 25 to 35 miles per hour tonight. Tomorrow, we pick those winds up even more so. We'll talk more about that at Wind Advisory and if you're covered in it uh, coming up. Tonight, temperatures in the 30s for much of the state, right? A 30-degree night, but look at the number, 39. This is close to where we should be for a daytime high. This is a good night. It's mild. It's comfortable. The breeze is light to breezy. Tomorrow, a great start to your day. I know the kids will want to run out the door tomorrow morning pretty early to hang out out there, and they probably will not want the coat. And I think they're okay with the heavier jacket tomorrow, as we talk about tomorrow morning in the 40s, feeling like the mid-30s. But we also warm quite a bit from there and continue to track a warming trend. I mentioned the wind advisory earlier. Much of the state under the wind advisory from 7 a.m. Wednesday until 7 p.m. Uh, Wednesday. Now, wind advisories are issued with winds are over 35 miles per hour for a significant period of time. So gusty winds throughout the day. If tomorrow is your trash day, you want to time that perfectly. Put the trash cans out as late as possible before they get there and try to bring them in as early as possible. So that will be an issue tomorrow. High temperatures, even though we have the gusty winds and the cloud cover, it's a decent temperature day with highs coming in at 55 for Indy, 48 for you in South Bend and 65 in Evansville. Temperatures above average for you tomorrow and we'll keep the above average trend going on Thursday. But watch this. So I mentioned the cold front ahead of it, gusty winds behind it as it's moving through heavy rain and just rain because the temperature trend is perfect enough to bring us rain. But if you're north, South Bend, Chicago, even Lafayette, you will see a rain snow mix the rest of the state in rain. I mean, these temperatures are warm enough that area south of the Washington Madison line will see the possibility of strong severe storms. You're under the marginal risk there. So quite the active day for us on Thursday. A few flurries flying Friday north. Temperatures fall, but we rebound nicely as temperatures will warm up. Peterman Brothers heating and cooling forecast. Temperatures over the next eight days, if you look at the numbers and what they mean for you, these temperatures will actually uh, kind of bounce back. So although we're cooling down, it won't last. I'm seeing a trend of near 60 degree temperatures possible for us next week.